Good morning, everybody. I'm Russ. This is Chris. By the way, you're very dark. You look good. Let me tell you what. Dark helps hide a few things. That is true. I, I will have to go with that. I want to show you something. We talked about uh, things you hate and stuff like that. And we're doing two shows in one day because we got a very busy Thursday going on. But I want to show you. Remember, we started but we in January. we bowled great last night. We did bowl great. We started in January. And my man boobs are down, right? They're not mm -hmm. where they want to be. But I can still bounce them. <laughs> and you're still... I can't. Really. And there's the thing. You look good. You're Thank trim. You. Stephanie showed me a picture last night of us when we went to Destin three years ago. And dude... <laughs> I looked at the Destin book last night, too. Well, okay. And it was a little uh, not quite this good. But I want to show you. You got to... And I want to talk today about accountability. We're going to get into because this is just fun. I mean, just you got your shirt off. I work out hard, and I still got man boobs. When I was 25, barrel chest. My chest But I, I think that's a lot of it because you've had. Oh, they, so, and now. they sagging. They're like, I'm mean, a 50. Yeah. But they can oh. still. This is just fat, and they're down. I can feel them. They're down. There, I just and if I was y'all, I would I would watch this in a little box. I wouldn't blow it up <laughs> to a big to big screen because you know I don't know if y'all are ready for all that. I gotta work harder. Are you good at holding yourself accountable? No. Oh yes. And no. I sure can in certain aspects, hey, and I sure on. can't in certain aspects. I can hold myself accountable in the fitness <clears throat> area and eating. I know what to do and not do. I do not hold myself accountable when it comes to things that I know we need to do better for Red Sea. Or backyard. Or I backyard. Mean, Both. Yeah, you're absolutely but right. But I, I want to spack you on the hand a lot. You know that when it comes to certain things like that. Right. But in the other hand, you don't sway off of that. That's you, that's pretty right. <laughs> you are like, nah. And I, I, I can be mad, but I can't be mad. You, you've stuck by your guns. Yeah. That but is true. But there are things that you should do, totally or we good. should have done. Uh, uh, there, there's a bunch of, bunch of deals like that, but <clears throat> seems like we're preaching this week. We are, man. We are, and it is, it is kind of weird. You know, we like to get into stuff that they can relate <clears throat> to, but. So let, let's talk this. All right, go. I got married a couple weeks ago, All right? And you got to give the toast. Correct. And you went more with a philosophied deal instead of bashing. funny bashing, right. telling stories of me and you in the past. Yeah. And Mr. Jeffrey Poston come up and called you a weenie. Did not like it. A wussy. Did not uh, like it. Didn't use those words. No, he you should have things. wore him out. That's exactly what he said. <clears throat> and I went to Kaylee's wedding, and the best man kind of gave some zingers and stuff. And you told me, you went, you know what, I, I was going to throw some zingers, but I decided not to. Correct. What made you decide not to? Uh, I know you. I know you, and I know what you like and what you dislike. So to get a rise out of somebody just to hear me make fun of you when I know you don't like that, it, it's just not me. So this is not <clears> my <throat> moment to stand up there and go, all right, I'm listening to be the comedian. I'll make everybody laugh. That ain't my job. My deal was to, I really felt like I wanted to tell you guys that the stories we've had, I want you and Brooks to have those same stories. Oh, no, we've had, we ain't but had I'm saying story. And I, what I said, and you guys missed it, was some of our stories are good and some are yeah. bad. And I had a little rhyme. I mean, I, they ended up rhyming. But my whole deal was to say, we've made it through good and bad. Right. You guys are going to make your own story, and I hope it, and you're going to have good and bad. But Jeffrey wanted me to just, oh, my God, he wanted me to rip you a new one. And I really don't. Uh, yeah, you can, you can always find something to tease somebody about. Oh, yeah. But we have a lot of good stories, a lot of fun stories. And uh, I, I guess I'm kind of glad you took the high road. Oh, yeah. But you didn't have to. 
I, I thought you'd have been a little. I thought maybe you'd have told you know how we met because there was a lot of people that weren't there, or, you know, and how we became friends and that kind of stuff. But you know, taking the road you took, I, I was fine with it. You know, Mary told some, a story about right about Brooks and 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 trust me, I know they could have went further too. Oh, with, there ain't with, no doubt. With stories. There ain't no doubt. <clears throat> But I just knew in that moment where you were and what I knew where you would be and what you wanted for for me as a friend. So yeah. it was like, that's eh, a simple deal. It's just something that I want you to share the same story I share with him. And that was pretty much it. Instead of, hey, I know a couple of stories and we were in our head we, <laughs> and this was a funny one. I think that's the 20 year rule <laughs> or the 50 mile rule. We're one of them. And one of them rules that keeps us safe. That, how do you do that to people or how are you good with that? And that's a good, that's a good deal. We'll get into that real quick. This is my friend. And when we're with all our buddies, we can make everybody laugh because we got a lot of good stories. Mm -hmm. A lot of good stories. But when we're in a different setting, we can make everybody laugh because we got stories that are not so good, but it still makes other people feel comfortable. Oh, we got stories of sad times or good times we thought right, that right. turned into bad times. Right. Our, our big red deal. Ah, oh, that's great. Ah, oh, we finna be multi-millionaires. Great. We're hugging in the in the elevator. You know, it didn't happen. Didn't and, happen. And, and told in a funny way, it's a pretty funny story. Yeah. You know, uh, that, a bunch of other ones, and most of you've heard heard all those stories. But I uh, I value our friendship. Right. Uh, we don't always see eye to eye. I, I think these people might think, yeah, they they they're always going to be. No, there's a whole lot of things we don't agree on. Correct. But we agree to disagree. We uh, there you go. And I think that's what people that are friends for a long time, or married for a long time, are those things that go. You know, we aren't going to see eye to eye on this. No. Hopefully it's not some sensitive subject. Yeah, that's you know the thing. that that's the problem sometimes. But for most part, everybody's different. Everybody's different. Everybody has an opinion. But it's hard to learn that when you first first getting going because you want to be like you want to be right. I want to be right. I want to be right. We used to do that. I want to be right. <clears throat> I'm gonna fight you till I'm right. I'm gonna tell you till I'm right. And I never listened, or he never. This listened. guy wants everybody to be like him. Totally agree. This guy. Will bring up what happened in '73 <laughs> to prove to him, <laughs> or to get him off the subject, yeah. whatever it is, you know. But we but we you know that. Know that? Yes, exactly. You know that, and I have learned not everybody's like me, so <laughs> I, I can't I can't do anything. And he's right. What? What? Has Stephanie got any telltale signs? For just for just me to, just in light, just if Stephanie, you get your work, you, you're gone. Stephanie, you get your workout in. Can you look at her? No. When she answers and goes, yeah, I got it in. No, because she does this. She feels guilty. Okay. So if I go, hey, did you get your pump on today? She'll be like, no, because and right when, and I'm like <laughs> and I just put I just type in excuse, <clears throat> but I don't fight her. I don't fight her anymore. I don't do this. Well, you need to go out there right now, and you need to get your pump on. You need to get your lazy butt up, and get. It. I go like this. Tomorrow, we'll kill it, because fine line. I ain't fighting her. Fine line. I ain't fighting her. She ain't me. And she even said that that one time. I'm not you, so don't think I'm gonna be happy every time I wake up. Shut up in the morning. Chris used to hate that too. Oh yeah. How do you get up and you're just loud and ready to go and happy? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't she care if you that. get up happy. Just don't just be, be like, quiet. <laughs> Dang. I have a tendency to talk. I'm like, hey, what's up, man? You wake, you wake, you wake, you wake. Hey, let's go. You wake. Hey, you used to show up at my house at 6.15 in the morning on days off when we worked 
real jobs 30 years ago. I was ready to play. I mean, ready to play. Man. And he'd be like, dude, show up at 7.30, I'll be, I'll be up at 6.15. I'd go in the living room, he's sitting there. <laughs> About time you got up. <laughs> Banging pots together. What is it? Tell us. Tell us. And I really don't even remember what our question was. But whatever our question was, tell us. Because <laughs> I can't even remember since we started the show with our shirts off. I don't off. even think we had a question. Since we started with our shirts off, I'm sure nobody is talking anything except... They're probably freeze-framing it. Come on. Changing body. Oh, if yeah. Brian wasn't in Vegas, he'd be changing our heads off to something else. Yeah. I know how he rolls. Alpha Maintenance. That's our sponsor today. And let me just say, if you go down to the backyard, you can see a lot of the things they've done. And Yeah. The one thing I really, really if think If you go down the back, you'll probably see them. Yeah, you'll probably see them. Because we've kept them so busy in the last few months. The backyard floating on that back part is going to be is awesome. Awesome. So, we're going to get out of here, man. And I want to say this. Are you guys cool with Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday shows? Friday, you got payroll. Monday, we're at the backyard. If we can get one in, we will get one in. But Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in the studio because here we are. I don't want to mess here, up. Here we are going back to Tuesday show. Right. We're giving a participation trophy. God. I'm just going to tell y'all there may be a show Monday. There'll be something. There'll be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for sure. Yeah. Monday we'll try to get it in. Yeah. There'll be something. Even we if ain't we just take a picture. Y'all. Yeah, we just tell because it really don't matter. What yeah, that's a good say. call. Just letting you know what's going to be happening until Monday where we will keep our shirts on. I am Russ. This is Chris.